Hi, welcome to Language in Film, where we take a closer look at how language is used creatively in cinema. There are plenty of pretty voices with nothing to say. Do you have something to say? I think so. The 2021 movie Coda is at its heart a movie about language, communication, and self-expression. The film follows Ruby Rossi, a hearing child of deaf parents, as she navigates high school and tries to forge her own identity. Ruby's parents have relied on her to interpret for them since she was little and expect her to continue to do so. Ruby, however, longs to attend Berklee College of Music as a singer. Ruby's interpreting becomes increasingly critical to the success of the family's livelihood, and their reliance on her threatens to derail her musical aspirations. Coda won three Oscars, including Best Picture, for its honest and realistic portrayal of family dynamics in a kind of household which has never been portrayed so intimately and accurately before on the screen. Interestingly, Coda shares a number of similarities with the movie that would rock the Academy Awards the following year, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Both movies feature hardworking families struggling to make ends meet in a society where the language spoken is not their native one. Both daughters are needed as interpreters for the family business. Both daughters don't want to follow in their parents' footsteps but they are torn between their own personal desires and their familial responsibilities. The parents must undergo an inner journey, which leads them ultimately to an understanding and support of their child, and the temporary rift between the generations is healed so the family can ultimately move forward in a positive manner. Both movies also feature piano playing. I mean, I could go on, but you get the idea. Coda focuses on Ruby, who is caught between two cultures— the deaf culture into which she was born, and the hearing one, which her parents do not understand fully. And what Coda does excellently is to show the profound isolation which engulfs this family. They live in a small, insular New England fishing village. They work each day by themselves on the ocean, which is an apt image for how the Rossies also navigate the hearing community around them closed off and relying heavily and solely on one another. As mentioned, Ruby is the family's interpreter, and has been since she was a child. She is tired of it, and this leads to several amusing examples of her intentionally mistranslating things when her parents or friends annoy or embarrass her. This is just one example of the many ways the film utilizes the bilingualism of its central character. There's also a poignant scene where, when asked how singing makes her feel, Ruby chooses to answer with her native language, American Sign Language, or ASL. I love this scene because it shows how much comfort and reassurance our first language gives us. But the most memorable use of bilingualism in CODA, for me, is of course the climax, when Ruby is finally able to reconcile both the singing and signing aspects of her identity, which had been presented until then as separate and incompatible elements that could not coexist together in harmony. Another thing I think CODA does well is showcase the nuance, uniqueness, and yes, even vulgarity of ASL. As a gestural language, ASL can do things verbal speech cannot such as employing three-dimensional space to help convey meaning. For example, if I wanted to express the meaning, I will help you, in ASL, you might say this by moving the sign for help from yourself to the other person. And just as humans do with oral communication, the entire body is utilized for expression in ASL, including facial expressions, body posture, and other nonverbal sources of communication. The expressiveness of the Rossi family is rich, evocative, and powerful. They are by no means perfect beings, and they don't make the best choices all the time, but the choices they do make are understandable, believable, and relatable. A more cynical viewer may find Coda a bit too formulaic, but it's hard not to be won over by the film's emotional sincerity. I was and also by the acting, the well-written dialogue, and the sharply evoked members of the Rossi family. 
Even if you haven't seen Coda, you could probably guess how it ends, but that doesn't stop the ride from being a pleasure to embark upon. Because losing ourselves in stories like these is how we process the experience of living. Or, as Joni Mitchell puts it, 